The Hartree Center and the UK Atomic Energy Authority have uh, recently entered into a collaboration to advance the use of high performance computing, extreme scale computing and a variety of digital technologies so that we can develop the next generation of uh, nuclear fusion reactors. So in order to solve some of fusion's hardest challenges, we really do need extreme scale computing. The vision is that in 20 years, we've got a tokamak plugged into the national grid, delivering us energy. And next to that, a digital twin or a virtual tokamak that is taking live data from sensors and diagnostics and that's predicting the, what's going to happen next. A tokamak is a, a fusion uh, device that uses uh, magnetic fields to confine a plasma. So a plasma is made of ionized hydrogen isotopes, so you have ions and electrons running free. And so if you create a magnetic field in the shape of a donut that closes on itself, then you can confine these hydrogen isotopes and then you can make it really hot for the ions to fuse together and create fusion energy. So in order to achieve commercial nuclear fusion, we need to be able to confine and control the burning plasma in the machine for long enough so that we can extract more energy that we put in. I use generative AI to learn the complex turbulence within a tokamak, especially in the plasma edge. And uh, once the neural network has learned how to reproduce the turbulence, then we can use it to accelerate the simulation itself. Currently we're working on a variety of advanced Monte Carlo methods that enable to solve a very large system of equations that combined with efficient uh, artificial intelligence methods will, will allow us to get closer of being able to model this in near real time or real time in the near future. The other thing that's happening very much in the fusion community globally is there's an increasing awareness that actually sharing data is more likely to generate a commercial tokamak. And I think that is where Hartree Centre is really helping us. It's helping us with that interoperability layer so we can share data across not only research institutes, but also sharing it out to industry. And industry is going to be a major partner going into the future. What we've got to do is to try and bring all of our knowledge, all of our understanding, all of our capability into the virtual world and to build digital twins of systems. This is something that needs the world's largest supercomputers. Uh, it's something that needs artificial intelligence moving forwards. And the idea is that by working with world leaders in AI and supercomputing, we'll be able to deliver the world's first prototype power plants in the very early 2040s. Working together with UKA and public sector companies, will enable us to deliver fusion energy to the grid and meet our net zero targets. One of the things that I really like about my work is that it doesn't just live on my laptop. It's something that can be used by the engineers that operate these machines so that we can bring fusion one step closer. <laughs>